Welcome to the Safety Third Podcast. Today we have a special guest that for this morning, what did you eat for breakfast? Bagel. <laughs> bagel. bagel. She ate bagel for breakfast. A woman of I, I many that. words, Audrey Ember. that Ian likes when I play with the little metal thing here. Metal thing is meant to hold the mics on a tripod that we literally <laughs> have. His ear just explode just now. Have we ever had stands for these? <laughs> or have we always held them? I mean, it, at this point, I'm too afraid to feel <laughs> What is the point of having a stand? Exactly. I, I guess so. It could, I don't know, like come down from somewhere and then we have two hands free to high five. <laughs> <laughs> to touch each other. We can do this instead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. I can already no, tell that serious. sounds great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I Sorry, see blood Ian. running down his neck right now. <laughs> his ear is not his <laughs> Well, I mean, you you've been here before. What's what's new, Audrey? I work for you now. Yes. <laughs> Woo! Audrey Wait. Ember is my <laughs> producer now. Oh God. <laughs> and you guys are producing garbage. <laughs> It's so, pronounced so how's it cum. Go? It's pronounced C U M. Oh my god. What do you what do you um what has it been like for you? I'm afraid to ask Terrible. that's why I haven't asked you until that's now. That's why we're here yeah. to it's okay. intimidate you into this giving a, safe, a nice answer. This is a safe space. And it's, it's recorded awful. so you can use it as evidence. <laughs> it's terrifying. <laughs> Yeah. She's like, I keep saying it, but nobody's listening. I, just... <laughs> I said it three times. <laughs> What's so scary about it? What's so terrifying about it, Audrey? It's working for you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm kidding. These are kind of jokes. Okay, okay. Kind of jokes. That's good. <laughs> I mean, I... I had no idea what to expect going into it, so. Me neither. I. <laughs> there weren't high. Like I just didn't know what to expect at all. I think it's it's been uh, for me really really nice just to even have like another person in the room. Cause I mean, you you've like I was kind of scared to like show you the full extent of it at first. <laughs> the <laughs> the true, process, the because, true deranged you know, nature. You know, sometimes when you when you're like when you when you're used to working alone, especially like when you're editing, you get used to like kind of an insane workflow where you like talk to yourself and you walk around in circles and you just like yeah it makes me want to do like a shot in a video where i'm like doing something to the camera and then it cuts to a second camera and it shows me looking at like the main camera and you're like oh that's <laughs> yeah. actually what's happening <laughs> yeah and so i was i was actually it took me a few weeks to even like sort of like build up the courage yeah to have you over when i was actually trying to edit and now you've just seen the entire thing. It's and like, now you walk yeah. in circles with it, this, me there. Yeah. I feel yeah. like it's a really bad analogy, but it's kind of like, you know, you see somebody naked. And then yeah. at that point, like, you've already seen them naked, so whatever. You just... And now they just take their clothes off all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or the first time you fart in a relationship. Yes. And then you're uh, like, you break okay, the we're seal. doing this now. You yeah. break the seal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I so uh the the last the the way I announced it last time in a relationship was I said uh, what what would happen if I farted now? And then I just went, I didn't let her answer. I just let it rip, and then I shit my pants. <laughs> and I gotta tell you, it just yeah, it broke the seal. After that, like yeah. it was just understood that I could do that. Now. Did she start farting? Yeah. Uh, no, it's something of that. Uh, I don't mm, think women fart. How much do you fart, Audrey? <laughs> this is actually a great question. We can ask her all sorts of questions. Do women fart? No. Okay. So. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> She's too quick for us. That's impressive. She's really That's impressive. She knows, wow. she knows how to. End. She's not right through us. I know. <laughs> it's because she's doing without. I, I could, well, you, you've seen the, the, the whole thing. I don't know, like, what, what is it like? Because you were making YouTube videos, like, when you were the la last time you were on the podcast, you were making YouTube videos. And, like, I'm sure you had, like, your own process. Like, I've never <laughs> seen you do that, I guess. Which makes let's, me feel even let's weirder hope that now. That doesn't happen. No. <laughs> it only goes one way. <laughs> is it is it worse than what he does? Uh, no. <laughs> I think I think it's similar. I, like, am I saying mine is worse? <laughs> I think it's similar. I just don't pace. Okay. Yeah. I, I get a lot of miles. <laughs> in. I get a lot of. I got a video uh, out of somebody pacing. <laughs> 
<laughs> in the middle of the night on the floor above <laughs> not being able to sleep because they were trying to make a video I do the same thing I just don't pace it's, there's something about I mean you know I don't I don't know what it's like for like when you live with Michael but it's, I don't know it just feels like something about the like there's there's like a monkey caveman <laughs> thing going on. You saw me like, doing it earlier. Yeah. yeah. When you're like on the phone or something. Yeah. yeah. In different like, areas. It feels it just feels like it like if you're physically getting somewhere then you can like mm. mentally get somewhere. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I mean yeah. that makes sense. Like it sounds stupid but I think your, our brains are pretty broken overall in general so it's like <laughs> you just gotta let it do its thing. It's like fidget you know it's yeah. kind of incredible when you really think about it that like none of the stuff we do like none of the things we have were meant to do any of yeah. those no yeah, like when 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 you were evolving to make youtube videos <laughs> over billions of years or i actually don't know how long it was weeks uh, six, no, over yeah. over six thousand years <laughs> so i mean i i have a hard time believing that like you will like just swear into the open air but minus the pacing and that's the same process for you um or is it more just like a quiet stewing like a like a <laughs> depression silently just slowly <laughs> i'm one of those two slowly <laughs> dissolving yeah. on the inside like a yeah. fly in a spider i feel like rat. i do it in spurts okay like a, so you, you i'll like, like st- actually leave and then come back so i don't pace like maybe okay. i just don't have enough room to pace <laughs> Maybe if I did have room, maybe if I, I got paid pace. more and I could get a bigger <laughs> apartment, I could pace Alan. Well, no. that's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> she knows what she signed up for. I don't feel bad about it. <laughs> it's too expensive to be able to pace in a house in LA. That's what the that's what outside is for. <laughs> that's fine. Have you have you learned anything? <laughs> I think so. I mean, yes, I've learned a lot. Um, I think I can literally see a direct correlation like in my new stuff. So that's pretty cool. Oh, mm. worse or better? Good or bad? <laughs> better. Uh, good. Yeah, better. Have you learned <laughs> so what, much worse what to do or what not to do? <laughs> I feel like basic storytelling. Hmm. Yeah. What, were you doing, like, what were you doing before? Not basic stuff. <laughs> Just chaos. <laughs> um, no, like before I was doing vlogs and I think vlogs, it's easy to get to over or not put in story because you're just documenting Mm -hmm. um Mm -hmm. and like we were talking a lot about like people who grew up with youtube they kind of just like see what youtubers do and then emulate it instead of like actually trying to like analyze different Mm -hmm. or arranged yeah you know what i've learned what this is probably advice for anyone who's trying to do youtube all you have to do and i've told you this before Mm -hmm. you just you just sort of open your mouth and start talking (laughs) (laughs) Mm-hmm. And you just somebody's gonna listen to and it, figure it like, out later. Yeah, it's called what Stack Overflow, right? Where your your memory essentially you, your bank fills up, and so you start kind of pulling from the wrong memory. You just you just if you start going, eventually <laughs> things come out, and it's kind of sort of weird and deranged. And it, people are like, they look at you like, oh, there's something wrong with this guy, and it's entertaining to watch. It's 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 an, it's incredible if you go back to like you know like a big YouTuber and you find their earliest videos the difference in like the way they speak and their facial expressions and like an early Mark Rober video like you can tell he's just hey guys today I'm trying to like you can tell it's just like it's a nor- that's normal that's no, real yeah. Mark Rober and like the reason yeah. was like good yeah. morning gamers <laughs> it's me Captain Crunch yeah like, or maybe that's his true self Captain oh like Crunch. YouTube you have allowed him to open up yeah. into oh, his true, true self like a butterfly mm-hmm. like exploding out of, exploding out of a cocoon <laughs> exploding in bloody guts out of its cocoon <laughs> <laughs> does that, does that, I, I'm, I'm really excited to see in the next couple of years that you explode out of your cocoon and become Captain Crunch. <laughs> that is the goal. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so what about, uh, you want to tell us about your recent video you made? I, she, it got posted in, in the one of the server, Discord servers and I started laughing because the title oh. made it look like you were getting canceled. <laughs> Oh, you made the video and, about and working Jersey with him? And was just like question okay. marks. Like thought I was just being disrespectful <laughs> about her video. <laughs> and then I had to explain that it looked like you were getting canceled. Yeah. The title. And I don't think anybody really understood what I was trying to say. <laughs> just put question marks. <laughs> it was posted in there. Oops. No, I know exactly I was, what you meant. I think it was a good title. I um, I was a, I approved the title. I was like, go for it. Because I think it's like, you know, I, I like the implication. And like, I think the video, like if you pay it off, like, like people complain all the time about like clickbait or whatever. But it's like, I think if you, 
if you get people on board with the video and then you don't do exactly what's in the title thumb, but you do a good job of something, mm. doing something yeah. else, that no one will complain about clickbait. Yeah. What was the title? I, mi- I, didn't, I missed the video. The title? Uh, my dream job say- turned out to be my worst nightmare. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But like I didn't put Alan anywhere in there. Yeah, just Alan's face with a big red extra. Right? Damn, that's what it's I should have done. It's just fuck Alan pants. That's what I should have done. You can always change the no. thumbnail. You can always change it after. No, I won't put you up with the snake legs. <laughs> I don't know if that's worse. I I like the title. I like the title. I think it's good. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think it was like like I think you could really tell in the video that like you are trying to like do something new and you're really trying to like actually like put lessons into practice which is like i like i i think another part of it is the sort of the worst experiences make the best stories Mm -hmm. and the video is essentially about like (laughs) a a, an actual kind of like yeah struggle struggle or like journey i mean it sounds so i don't like saying like journey or like a, <laughs> you through your life um <laughs> but like you know it, it's it's an actual thing mm. like sort of being honest is usually the best storytelling yeah and so having kind of gone through a little bit of like an actual real you know like kind of journey where it's like you you know you want to do youtube and then you realize that it's you know the sort of not what you thought or whatever and then you do something different and then it kind of ends with like positive progression which is like you know like a, that's like an arc right mm-hmm, like, you, mm-hmm. like dreams yeah. falls yeah yeah yeah, yeah yeah um and so it's kind of like you know how how many how many of those like kind of things can you do like once a week i go through some new like you know life changing definitely not. <laughs> so yeah. i think like, that's <laughs> extremely bad That'd right be very toxic very quickly and a lot of people try to do that and it's mm-hmm. kind of funny when you see one that's like genuinely you know like kind of real and good like it works really well it's just really hard to like replicate that with consistency yeah yeah so i feel like this problem we have with some of our videos too is like i'm trying to say i've got this problem that like this and it's like holy god this guy's got a lot of problems <laughs> like every, every time yeah, with this yeah. asshole <laughs> like god he's just his life is falling apart it's just every week it's just it's like yeah. the real problem is like i got i need money to pay my bills <laughs> and so i'm gonna make a video about some other problem i have <laughs> I feel like that's kind of what like Casey did back in the day with it's his like, vlogs. It's like I quit. Mm-hmm. I quit for real this time or something like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just, like there's some channels never that do that over yeah, and over yeah, again. Like this is the only thing that gets and Casey used. Neistat used to do like daily vlogs, right? Yeah. Oh, that, but yeah. he they were like story based though, like <gasps> every single one. So he'd take something like I can't pay my bills, mm-hmm. and that would be like the storyline for each of his. Vlogs. I crept my pants today. <laughs> <laughs> Starts with him skateboarding. <laughs> like, you know it's coming. It started like any other day. <laughs> you might be wondering how I got here. <laughs> I have no, I mean, like, I have a hard enough time as it is coming up with, like, a, a sensible, like, compelling story for a video every, like, two months at this point, basically. Um, and you, like, you're coming from a world where people are doing things, like, if not daily, then, like, you know, multiple times a week or weekly, like, like, how do you how do you decide that your life is interesting enough to do that? You believe it is. <laughs> you look at the you look at the bill for for rent in the mail and you're like, yeah, today's the day today's I Today's very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Today better be interesting. <laughs> that was literally like a problem though with like that type of stuff is that people just there was just nothing to do and they just started falling flat. Like, it's like when yeah. Casey moved to LA, I think what happened, because I remember him sort of like tweeting or making some videos about like, you know, oh, New York, there's so much more activity. It's so much. Mm. I think the problem was he found major success, sold the companies, moved to California, mm. and then there was yeah. sort of no higher level goal in his life that was driving him to yeah. move. Mm. And then that lack of movement sent, like led to kind of a lack of stories to tell. Mm. And I think maybe for him, it kind of felt like, oh, not being in New York is what caused the lack of stories. But I actually think that not having like a big goal mm-hmm. is probably what caused that to stagnate. I mean, he's vlogging now. Yeah, we'll see how long now. it lasts. Every day? Not every day, but like more consistently every than night. he was. Like when he moved to LA, he was consistent for couple months and then it kind of stopped Mm -hmm. so he's starting again so it'll Mm. be interesting to see like how long it keeps going (laughs) hopefully it keeps going i don't know start beam two no (laughs) yeah 
Didn't you? You tried to make something for him like a long time ago, didn't the you? The hand thing. Yeah, like the weird, the, like what? creepy waving hand. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. God. Yeah. I didn't. Even, I remember it was like a servo motor, and I think I did like a like the finger, like the flexure with like a cable in it. Too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got like a Halloween hand. It stuck that in there. So is... it was just like it was like a trigger. It was like a kind of long gun that had a quarter 20 mile you put the camera on it and then you pull the trigger and the hand just kind of in front of the lens so he doesn't have to do it he doesn't have to wave anymore it was like the creepy casey nice that way (laughs) did it ever get to him yeah it did and then they opened it i think with like the vlog squad and then they they, like broke it or it was broken or something (laughs) and they never put it together and how embarrassing for years i was like kind of like very very sporadically communicating with him trying to like go to new york and do something I had this idea to make him a skateboard that was like a, a banana, like a giant banana, but like had wheels on it. Okay. <laughs> I was just, that was like, that's yeah. old William Osmond. Yeah. <laughs> I miss the old William Osmond. <laughs> You're like, you miss banana skateboard William <laughs> Osmond. <laughs> um, and then it just never happened. That guy is like insane though. Like he's, I think, got giga squirrel brain. Yeah. <laughs> like, have you met him? Uh, No. He did the wave at me once. He did? <laughs> he did a <laughs> little hand wave at you? Yeah. How does this make you feel? Uh, <laughs> That's all you need. You don't have to actually talk to him. As long as you've yeah. got one of these going. Does it matter kind of where I point it? Does it change how you I feel? I can feel it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I never even noticed the wave. That's like a thing that he always does. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's funny. It's just yeah. funny. Like, it's like, it's like, it's kind of... I feel bad making fun of it, but it's just kind of like the funny thing that he would do. <laughs> Keep doing it. I'm not saying don't do it. <laughs> he watches and never does it again. Uh-huh. You bullied uh-huh. Casey. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are we allowed to talk about some of your like upcoming videos? Because I I know that we've got we've got a couple of pitches that I think you're coming around to. Um, like like what? I mean, like, well, pitch it to us. Let's well, hear my it. favorite I'm, one. I mean, you can is take it the it funeral? Want. No, it's oh, the uh, okay. stop. Who's stop funeral? saying I look like Tom Scott. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, yes. Or it's just I do not look like Tom yeah. Scott. And you're like angry, and it's like comments. Because and... I mean, like, like there is like a I don't know, maybe a little bit of if you if there's a picture Who? of Tom no. Scott here right now next to her face, then I will, I will never escape now. It's like a, a red X across his face. It just says I do not look like Tom Scott, and it's a picture of you looking exactly like Tom <laughs> Scott next to it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I asked my boyfriend this question and he said he saw the resemblance, so now I'm very sad. <laughs> no, I mean it just means that well actually I don't know what it means. It means something, but I don't I don't know. Exactly. I think it means more about your boyfriend than it does about you. <laughs> True. <laughs> is, uh, is your boyfriend a big fan of Tom Scott? <laughs> I didn't I don't think so. Oh no. I feel like I feel like we need a big picture because you like I feel like we're saying you look like Tom Scott's little sister. You don't actually look like Tom yeah, Scott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could be in the same family. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The resemblance is there. Yes. In a familial way, not in like right. an exact way. Unless, unless you ask your boyfriend, in which case he would say it's more of an exact. <laughs> She's making way. a face like she wants us to stop talking about Tom Scott. I will never escape. <laughs> There are like two comments now. <laughs> it's literally two people. Yeah. 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 They were both everyone. <laughs> and now it's 200. <laughs> no. I think that would be a banger. Right I now. think this is a great brand building opportunity yeah. for you, Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take whatever shortcuts you can in this no. business. Tom Scott keeps getting like no. comments now that say like, you look like Audrey Ember. <laughs> yeah. You look like Please Audrey Ember's no. older brother. Yeah. I feel like we need to, next time Tom is here, we got to do something. I don't know yeah. what, but... Just have them stand next to each other. Yeah, I think that's the bare minimum. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think that I one of the other escape. ones was um, uh, making making a camera with a cow's mm. eyeball. Oh, that was supposed to be a you lens. idea for a while, and it kind of fits the camera. That's yeah, such, yeah, That's yeah. a good idea. It's more like camera stuff. I think because we were talking about it I think. <laughs> Remember, we went to the Exploratorium. I think that's when we first started talking about that. Was we were visiting Simone to make up for the me sleeping through the flight. Like, the flight that I was supposed to take to visit her the first time, and we went to the Exploratorium and like while we were dissecting the cow's eyeball, realizing that it was like, oh, it's just a camera. Yeah, it's just there's just a lens, and if you had a way of like moving it forward and back, like you could probably take pictures through it. 
Yeah. Like, what's the f-stop number of a? Of a <laughs> I don't know. She's gonna find out. Yeah. I pitched that for Audrey. <laughs> I kind of want to do that. I'm glad that you kind of want. To. Could you get I like a it... like a whale eye or something? I mean, like a really... legally. I've looked into buying cow eyes. It's yeah, easy. is that easy? It's... Don't don't even look into it. Just go to a butcher shop. Yeah, actually. <laughs> Ask no. for the eyes. Yeah, that's how we did it. Oh, we yeah. did the laser cutting. Yeah, yeah. They like, do. They do. They just they throw the eyes away. They like, just give, you, just the give you the eyes. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's an way eye guy. Yeah. Get an eye guy. An eye... <laughs> You had an eye guy. I have an eye. Yeah, I have an eye guy. I was in Santa Paula. I think. And a finger guy. Well, that's that's, no, that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, Jeff got me those fingers. Jeff, the finger guy. Jeff Bezos sold me <laughs> <even> fingers. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't ask any questions. I needed them. So you take the cow eye. I haven't really thought about you, it too much. Well, all right, let's walk through it right now. No. <laughs> I think we're. I think. I just, no, no. You know what? I like. You want this. us to be really fresh. Yeah. Pretty fresh. Yeah, pretty like fresh. fresh as you can right get. out the Like, just like, yeah. You, yeah, ask if you can be there when, when they take <laughs> Not the eye. Not the sound yeah. effect. Um, What's the first step? Okay, you've already got the eye. You don't have, we don't have to walk us through the whole cow killing part. Yeah, unless you want exercise. to. All right, how do we kill the cow? <laughs> oh, I know. We uh, rocket knife. Okay, so rocket. we kill the cow with a rocket knife. <laughs> and also, the eyes come out naturally that way. Yes. <laughs> okay, so you got mm -hmm. the eyes from killing the cow using a rocket knife. Then what? No wait, no. You if, haven't taken the eyes you know, out. Oh, no, yeah. There. I think if we just I like started put, looking put... up optics a while ago, yeah. and I stopped because it looks complicated. Yeah. But <laughs> I kind of just like step one is yeah. to put it literally in front of a camera. Yeah. But you can't put the whole eye in front of the camera. Do you stick the, Why the camera the ceiling first? Do you stick the sensor in the eye, or do you take the? Yeah, that's what you should do. Exactly. Right. Because the retina is in the way, right? Yeah, like the, the, the retina in the back of the eye is the part that is you the You cut like, it in half. Yeah, you cut the eye in half, you take the front part, and then that's the part that like goes in front of the camera. Like, is, is it actually just mm -hmm. a lens you can pull out, or is it like the whole... There's only one way to find out, right, Audrey? <laughs> oh, no. We're going to take apart a cow. It's going to be so nasty. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to put it back together. <laughs> I feel like sea creatures have a, like an actual lens. Big eyes? Like a lens. Because mm -hmm. they, I don't know. Like... Squids. I know squids have a lens in their eye for squids some reason. I don't know eyes? why I know that. But like a physical lens? Like a, yeah, like, like a hard, hard. Lens. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they do. Because I remember in class that when we dissected them, you could I like, think eat that's, it. Yeah. Yeah. What, what? You, you dissected a squid, squid yeah. eye? Yeah, I was like, you could eat the eye. And it was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I remember squid eye day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was just like a weird little marble. I don't know. All we got were pig fetuses in, in my high school. Oh, fetuses? Yeah. Yeah. Big earthworms. Pe fetal pigs. Sorry, we got what? cow eyes. Big earth. You, got, big you earth. actually got cow eyes. That yeah. big. See, if you had stayed in school, Girthy. you would have known <laughs> yeah. more no. about eyes now. That was high school. Those, wait, wait, can we change? I want to hear about big earthworms. <laughs> okay, they have so, eyes? I don't think, I don't know. I didn't like earthworm good. gym. Like, they're real? They're that big? Yeah. Oh, no. What, Imagine around? Like, 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 yeah. Like, like, you know, like at least the definitely thicker than a slim gym and just as long what's the difference between a giant worm and a snake well i don't think worms have eyes a worm you could like it like, it like will flop over really easily. A snake doesn't flop over yeah easily. yeah oh oh snakes worms don't bite you snakes bite you when you try to cut them open okay so how, how do you test that there's only one what, way to... them i don't know it's like it's pretty brutal so what i uh, um, okay, I, I really, I would like you to walk us through this giant worm dissection. So, <laughs> were they already dead? I think so, yeah. <laughs> but they weren't preserved. Okay. They were like fresh. They were okay. big. I'm not even lying when I'm saying they were big worms. Like, I'm not exaggerating here. Like, they're like a foot long, two feet long? I would say like that long. Okay, like that, 18 inches. Yeah, 18 inches. And, and then they're like half inch, like thick. a quarter, half inch, a half inch. Yeah. So they're really. Long. I mean, when you cut them like long ways and you unfold and you unroll the worm, <laughs> it was how like old were you? This was high school. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. the teacher just comes in like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like smacks it on the desk. He's like, Here you go. pops out. He's like, don't worry, I got a bunch more in the back. <laughs> okay, so so like the teacher comes out with like a bag of jumbo worms. Yeah. And then, and then like knives and stuff. <laughs> yeah, and like a lot of pins. Like you, a lot of oh, pins. Oh, so you pin it down. Yeah, and like a fo like a foam board. Wait, and then you, you like cut it open and you open it and you like pin it. Were you in Florida? 
Yeah. This Does this sound like a Florida thing? <laughs> yes. I feel like that's what? the only place that would have worms that big. I'm still that my mind is reeling. I know. I didn't yeah. know that that existed. And I'm. I'm Other sort schools of use like frogs or like. <laughs> Cow eyes and you got, guys use some giant worms. worms. Oh, I found these big old worms out back. We, we got a wriggler. Kids, <laughs> these are called Florida wrigglers. We need Jim. We need thirty of them. There's thirty kids. We can't do twenty nine. Call, call Just wor- cut in half. Worm Jim. Oh, you turn into two worms. <laughs> Earthworm Jim. Earthworm Jim. Yeah, he gets the worms. Oh, uh, Jim. <laughs> so then, like, what's inside a worm? Yeah, I was gonna ask. <laughs> Just, <laughs> Just poop. Really? They're, yeah, I didn't. Yes, just, they, they What's know. the point of dissecting it's like, one? It's, then? Like a, it's like a hollow, hollow skin muscle filled with poop. So they had you cut a worm muscle. There's like you draw a line and it's like skin, and you draw a second line, and you say poop, and then you get. It's and then you're like, a, a all right, diagram. I'm done, teacher. Man, that poor worm. I, I hope that's all there was because I feel like I'm doing it a disservice if I don't know anything else. <laughs> I guarantee that there's more in a worm than just poop. There's got to be like... Pee, too. Like, yeah, there's got to be pee. I think it comes there's gotta out There's got to be balls. How do they make right. more worms? Where, like, how else do they roll around so efficiently if they don't have little balls? <laughs> you, just, you, you, you cut them in half. They make new worms. I don't know. Yeah, where's the like... They do lay eggs. I don't think it's a live yeah, so, birth thing. Well, okay, so one of them has eggs and one of them has balls, or they both have both? Or, or one has eggs and one has poop? I don't know. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, I was, I was... Kevin, you're going to have to walk us through this. I was not a grace. <laughs> Can you tell me more about your, no. cow, your cow eyeball video? <laughs> I want to know more about the worm. Yeah, <laughs> you could use the worm as, like, the accordion to focus the cow oh. eye. <laughs> That's a really ooh a camera made entirely out of animal parts. Yeah, it's like intestine or something. So yeah, it's not just the eyeball is the lens; it's every oh, other no. part of it is also. No, made I out think of that there's skull. maybe some actual real products that are more animal than we, most people realize. <laughs> are you talking like uh, what, like that that red dye that's made How about of an, like crushed up bugs? Yeah, oh, yeah, or like an outfit made ent- entirely out of animals. It's just leather. <laughs> you mean like pants, but it's just the entire back half of a cow that you're wearing. No. <laughs> <laughs> you think that would work? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What about like pants, but it's like just a big monkey? <laughs> it's the lower half of a big monkey. You like what's the what's the like the mythical creature that has the like horse hooves on the bottom and I think then it's the, a pan actually. A pan? Yeah. It's a, That's what they're called. What? The, the, no. Like you know the sprites and they have the well, like pan the lower is half. pans one of them, but the oh, actual okay. animal is called like a shitty centaur. <laughs> a centaur. Yeah. Half, half, half centaur. centaur. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, centaur, right? Well, the centaur is a horse. Yeah, but it's like a whole horse. So, what about the one where it's just like, it's just like a human, but it's got kind of freaky legs. It's like mm. the mermaid, yeah. but like a land animal. Oh land man, mermaid. man, land mermaid. Land mermaid. That's oh what's right, called. that's it. I still haven't yeah. gotten over the horse with toes. That's not. I don't want to. <laughs> is, is is YouTube different now than it was when you were a kid? Does it feel like things have changed? And uh... is it worse or better? <laughs> Both. Mm. More, more eyes now. <laughs> uh, maybe I was just less aware before. Well, like in the stuff that like you were watching, right? Yeah, who did you watch? Like... When I was little. Yeah. Also, how old were you? Ten. Ten. And who are you watching? <laughs> oh. Shane uh, Dawson. Ryan Higa. Ryan Higa. I watched Fred. Okay. Okay. Unironically, oh, wow. when I was ten. <laughs> Fred was good content. It was good yeah. YouTube content. Annoying Orange. Okay. Classic. Classic, yeah. classic. That's like when Any, I was little. So that was like, those are your major influences? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so I definitely, this is, I have more questions now. <laughs> that was quality content. What happened? So then, yeah, <laughs> if things got worse, things yeah. definitely got worse. I, I agree. I think we should... Go back to that. <laughs> Yelling. Yeah. Wait, did, is, Fred still makes videos. He does. Yeah, but the vibe is different. <laughs> really? What is it? Is it worse? Damn. Is it bad? I no, actually don't. Is, he know. is like it the same audio thing? file? <laughs> is he still yelling? Um, um, I don't think he's yelling anymore. I, I know annoying orange still does the exact same thing. Really? Yeah. Because like, like you, you have described yourself as like, or. I don't think you did. I described, an, yeah, I, I, described I described you as an artist where your medium was YouTube, but it's like that's different from anything else in history because at least if you were like like a painter or something, <laughs> like mm. you know that the canvas is always going to be like you paint on a canvas and it's like that for like the next 300 years. But it's like if you make a video on YouTube, 
and they make like a policy change <laughs> like it could change yeah. from under your feet whenever yeah it's kind of scary and confusing yeah, why why are you doing this why are you doing this fun. to yourself? I'm scared and confused. <laughs> it's uh, what's it called? Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> I I would buy that for all of us, every single one of us. Confused screaming. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Who did you guys watch before you started making stuff? Um, annoying orange. Fred. <laughs> uh, it was okay. Papa Furs. Colin Furs was like. Oh yeah. For me, like, mm-hmm. I mean. I, I, I almost feel like it was high school. I don't think it was actually that early, but that's what it feels like. It was so, like, formative. I watched um, the, all the YouTube boom, boomers, like Kasim G, Shay Carl. Mm. Um, man, I feel like I really have to go back. There's so many. I like, watched a lot of, like, animation stuff. Yeah. Oh, kind like of, all the uh, stick fight animation. Yeah, like that kind oh, of stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, or, yeah. Like, like Red versus Blue, like Machinima. Right, right. Freddy W. Oh, yeah, Corridor, yeah, yeah. like when sort of their main channel was just quarter like that was a huge channel yeah 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 as a kid. Um, salad fingers oh yeah. god oh, oh yeah, i that... hated salad fingers yeah i did too why do you remember I foamy mean, the squirrel <laughs> no which one oh. was that foamy the squirrel it was like this little squirrel like a nihilistic little animated squirrel <laughs> uh, was that like on throw grounds it? yeah i think so man this is bringing up big repressed memories yeah oh, yeah no. i remember for a while there was like this big thing where it was like stop motion blue guys do yeah, you remember those people. yeah yeah, yeah. Like i don't remember blue that clay people they were they very were like, like kind of like uh like round and then rectangular like they were very blocky yeah <laughs> like it was like like shitty gumby like yeah I mean, exactly oh, okay. what would happen if shitty or gumby some, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you take that back <laughs> <laughs> shittiest gumby <laughs> I have not sorry, thought about it. Sorry, if you're watching this. Sorry, yeah, sorry. <laughs> and the horse. The horse is feeling... Oh, I feel bad for the horse, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gumby and his horse. <laughs> uh, this is unlocking a lot of, like... I haven't thought about this sort of stuff in a I long time. I feel like I was like, on a different Gumby side of YouTube. I hear my parents yelling in the background. <laughs> 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 <Not true. laughs> Do you guys remember Mr. Bill? Yes. That's that's some old so what? I like so Mr. I think he started off as like a Saturday Night Live skit and then he turned into like his own show for a while and it was just this little clay guy and he would always get like mangled or destroyed in sort of like mm. the worst way and the punchline to every skit was just he would go oh no <laughs> and then like like the the other character was just a hand named Mr. Hand or something he would go Mr. Bill and that was that was it god i feel like i, I remember this you but remember, i cannot remember picture Mr. Bill? It. he was like he was like had yellow hair and a red shirt yeah if you if you google him you google a picture of Mr. The Mr. Scope Bill the scope of making content is so much higher <laughs> now <laughs> It really is. <laughs> I feel like you could just sort of do something weird and artistic back in the day and it would be entertaining. And now it's like everyone's doing so much crazy stuff. Yeah. yeah. That the bar is like impo- like we're Do you guys think it's harder or like different to get started now than before? Yes, yeah, way, for sure. Super, yeah. yeah. I mean, why do you think like we're still relevant? God, like why 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 do you think yeah. there's nobody who's like twenties <laughs> like early twenties doing the science stuff? Like we literally it- came in, we were like twenty four, <laughs> twenty and then it's just we sort of came up and then like there was nobody behind us. It was like mm-hmm. I I like who, yeah, yeah, I who, actually have no idea. I mean, uh, there's that uh, Tyler Bell kid. Yeah, I like Tyler Aram. Bell. Yeah. Like he's kinda up and coming. Um, but like Michael was young, but there's sort of like it just it's kind of weird because it's like all of us are the same age. It, it is kind of bizarre, though, how it's like it is. It, there was like a cohort. There was literally like a cohort of people who make things and then not really like one after. I, my, I think it's like a 10 year cycle kind of thing. Yeah, like a my, cicada. My theory is you that know? there Every is like years. there's a group of kids that are like in high school or something right now. And in like a few mm-hmm. years, they're just going to eat all our lunches. And then you'll be watching I think their so podcast. Because, you know, it's like <laughs> what we did to, to Mythbusters and they're going to do to us. <laughs> The cycle continues. You mean what Alan did to Mythbusters? Yeah, what you did to Mythbusters. Mythbusters. They did it to themselves. Soiled it. (laughs) Soiled it. (laughs) 
<laughs> there, I remember seeing the comments to like the when the when the MythBusters the search trailer came out, and like people, their reactions were so it was it was intense. There were yeah. people they would say um, like literally the Harry Potter quote, like "How dare you stand where they stood?" <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That must have been nice. Yeah, that was that was really like I don't know. The whole time I was like, I don't know, fuck you guys. If you could be they here right now, you'd be here right they now. Were, they honestly listening to them probably was the best advice you could have taken. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you? I don't know. I just kind of do. Did that show like actually? I'm glad make I didn't. Mythbusters do it. keep going. They they got in the same almost... way that keeping grandma on life keeps her alive. Okay. <laughs> Anybody oh, no. that worked on Mythbusters oh, want to no. come on our podcast. <laughs> I was excited for it at the time, but the only reason I didn't do it is because I, I didn't have the time. They wanted like a mm. four month yeah, thing. Yeah, they did deny yeah. me. Yeah, <laughs> they uh, they got almost an entire season, a new season of MythBusters out of it, but they actually never aired the last two episodes. Um, I think it went really badly. Um, the funny thing is, it's like. If they had actually stuck to their guns, I really think mm. that like after like a season three, if they had like been able to deal with like three years of shit, I think yeah, people just would have gotten three more years of shit. Yes, exactly. <laughs> they could have gotten uh, six shits in a movie out of it. I think if they had stuck <laughs> I, to their I guns. I definitely like kind of agree. Not like the sort of stand in their their place, but mm. it just sort of seems like uh, a very kind of big business thing to do of taking a show that ran its course mm. and like mm. trying to keep it alive it was there was i mean like i feel like there's i could i feel like there's no reason not to talk about it now but like um when they were discussing like the show when we like signed up for it, i think like the first like trailer of like apply to do this the name was uh search for the next mythbuster yeah and then once we got to it and uh they started like production it became mythbusters a search and that change in title was literally just because they said that um, the way that like DVR recording works, oh, that as long as the God. show started with the word MythBuster, people would still record it because it would look like They're the original MythBuster people. show. people. They were literally setting people wow. up for disappointment. Yeah. So it's like the whole point <laughs> was it becomes MythBusters the search, not search for the next MythBuster. MythBusters the search for the original show, yeah. not whatever this <laughs> shit is. <laughs> Specifically, so that people it would end up in front of people. Mm. Did it work? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it, it did once, and then everyone was furious. <laughs> and we're like, exactly. Yeah. Why. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this on my TV? <laughs> they see the numbers, like we're saved. We're gonna have a good yeah. season, and then the next numbers come. Like, oh, no. Yeah, I think that uh, the internet has done very bad things for TV. <laughs> it's like this stuff, like look at the kinds of things that like people are able to build and make on YouTube right now. It's like even something like uh, like James's Power Loader. Yeah. You could yeah. never do that no. in a TV show. It would cost a fortune. Yeah. I mean, it would it, take it, too long yeah. and it's nobody would dangerous. understand it. And like, that's like basically what happened for James. It was yeah. like it took a fortune, it took a long time, but it's like the whole time he could decide to keep doing yeah, it. Yeah, he still right. did. It wasn't like a TV producer going like, "Oh, this isn't really worth it." Yeah, and James right. like, "No, I want a power loader." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, that's that's honestly like what makes those videos great is sort of mm -hmm. not listening to what you know. I would say like a a. a, a person who would be controlling the money to let you do things yeah. would absolutely not let you do it and which is probably the right answer but yeah. it's also like long term the wrong answer because it kind of builds a bad vibe of like we yeah. only do things that are like profitable or affordable like you don't you don't think we could have like pitch a late night interview show that's set in a literal dumpster yeah well, you see this this is the filler material <laughs> For the videos that we make that lose money that bring more people yeah, in. Yeah, it's like this is good overall for. <laughs> like a power loader. Saying nice things about power loader is good. I'm working overall. On... It's a bad idea at the time, but it's a cool thing to have. I mean, also the power loader, isn't it just the fact that James wanted to do it that like makes it better? Yeah. Like a better yeah. video? Exactly. Yeah. It's just like a little unhinged. Mm. You're just kind of doing things you want to do. I mean, you know that's that's I think like what people probably watch these videos mm -hmm. for. I mean not not this. Because like, like if they had random people who are hosts do it, 
Yeah. It could be the same content. It'd be a lot worse. Just because, like, Cause it's, yeah. it doesn't they don't feel actually want to do it. Like around yeah. James yeah. a lot more than... It's like this mm. dude who does a thing, mm -hmm. and that thing is kind of crazy, and mm -hmm. they don't really care if it makes money or not. Like, the audience doesn't care. They just see this guy doing the thing he wants to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they can figure out how to, you know, make the money back doing other stuff. Do you ever mm -hmm. think that, like, uh, do you think anyone in any part of, like, a military somewhere ever references certain videos like yeah yeah <laughs> yes i actually yeah i because there, so. there's some stuff like jake's done some stuff that is like like essentially like like research level shit yeah that he just kind of puts on the internet and it yeah. always makes me <laughs> oh, wonder no. like somebody yes is seeing this and seeing a lot of inf like yes. useful data <laughs> there is i think like like what <laughs> Like the, I mean, you know, the flying like Iron Man thing, yeah. and like, you know, he's got this web shooter thing coming up, and like, have they ever said anything? Has he ever gotten any like? No, no but well, that's it's... not how that works. It's like, it's like you do something that then someone maybe doesn't think was possible, and never would have been able to test, and they see it, and they're like, oh, this that kind of works, so mm -hmm. maybe we can do this, mm -hmm. or we can do that. like. Like, I, they, they might want to expand upon it, or yeah. they're like, oh, God, people can do this now. Oh, <laughs> I, yeah. I, like, I, the way I would describe, like, like building stuff or inventing stuff is just connecting dots, mm -hmm. right? And I think mm -hmm. there's, like, some AI that can, like, read research papers, and it can sort of try to connect dots mm -hmm. that will be connected by people in the future, where it's like, what are topics that seem to kind of align, where it's like, it's almost like you have a big puzzle and it's like mm -hmm. you have these paths that you can connect like oh this is something about like thermal expansion that leads to something about a material property that leads to something about like a silicon like a mems thing that leads to this mm -hmm. and it's like if maybe somebody will find that path mm -hmm. but it's like all these people that individually know something if mm -hmm. they knew the entire thing together you'd be like oh i can put this here and put this here put this and so by watching stuff yeah. that like jake does or even like you know any of the stupid stuff that we do somebody might kind of be like oh that you could do that mm -hmm. it's like this this oh, group no. could do this a lot better if they only knew right. about this invention from this group. right like when i when i got this mold drama machine from this disney imagineer mm -hmm. like something i saw on it was din rail and I was like, yeah. oh my God, like that's the coolest thing I've mm -hmm. ever seen. And I've used it for a bunch of stuff. And mm -hmm. so it's like kind of slowly absorbing things. Like I don't, I don't, I don't use it to, you know, blow people up, but. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just like, you know, part of, part of the thing that's been happening, like I think over the last couple of years is that like, because the bar kind of keeps getting higher and higher, the things that like you sort of have to be able to do in certain kinds of videos, like that are spectacle based, yeah. it has like like you the 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 rocket knife that you did, yeah. like it has a shot that I think is like probably like the coolest fucking shot I've ever seen in a YouTube video, which is just the rocket like from one end of the screen to the other and oh, then exploding yeah. in a refrigerator. Yeah, and it's like from like right above, straight up. I mean, there's some really useful information. There, in that, like, <laughs> you know, uh, there's no, raw no, yeah. like that is literally like there there are like you know grad students. That I would never approach that level of research in yeah. that video. There is no way. What is that research that for? <laughs> Alex's video about dropping weights from a drone didn't have some effect. <laughs> yeah. On the some current of situation. the drone dropping videos you've seen oh, recently no. on the internet. It just you know if you are looking for a way to do that and you Google search it and, and Alex's video comes it. up. Then but it, it at least he provides you it, with ideas, it, with like, information. Yes. Yeah. It's like just because you didn't invent math doesn't mean you can't <laughs> spread the word uh, of math. <laughs> it it really it does like it I, I wish that there was like a like a like a a creative mode or a god mode where you could like <laughs> see like every the context oh, of yeah. where all your oh, audience yeah. is watching your videos yeah in. yeah because where do you draw the line then there's, like, no there's no line there's no line no, no, it's, 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 it's not on you whatever it's not on you yeah <laughs> yeah yeah actually i don't want to know yeah <laughs> we should ask alex to see if the you literally can't prove by views of that video are oh, higher in ukraine like than... you can like, literally look at the demographics oh, over time yeah. And see like where the views are coming yeah. from over time. I wonder if he's ever done. That. You know, he three D printed that thing. Now on Amazon, you can buy like something that just snaps onto the bottom of your drone that like interfaces with the light already built. That's cool. Yeah. We should not. <laughs> You we're making it, it work. No, 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 no. This we're is making all. It work. We're gonna put an affiliate so. link to Amazon yeah. in the description. <laughs> no. to this drone dropping device for all your drone dropping needs. Yeah, click that. We get one percent of it. Yeah, I don't care what you do of, with yeah. it. Your prerogative. 
I mean, have you ever talked about like sort of one of the first like conceptual incarnations of this podcast before? Of sort of like the, Michael, yeah, the idea of yeah. like you guys I think being we kind of did evil, like evil the minions henchmen of, that yes. have to enact ideas yeah. of like the superior. So like, like our boss wow. is a, like a super villain, and he likes he'll kill our families if we don't. <laughs> oh, the baby make the the baby killing machine. Yeah. <laughs> and so the the like one of the first ideas for the podcast was this like structured thing where it's like every week or whatever we would get some new insane idea of like. You know, it's not our fault, right? So it's, it's, it's coming from yes. the top. The guy right? who's gonna kill our family if we don't invent a machine that can kill babies. Yeah. So then it's like then the discussion is okay. Well, let's say like no moral, all moral ethics issues yeah. aside, what would you have to do to kill every baby on Earth? Probably a drone. I mean, I can tell you what we came up with. It was a drone with a camera, and you just oh, train a neural babies? network to recognize oh, yeah. small only okay. babies for yeah. whatever reason. We don't know what the whole plan is. We don't want to know. But boss is saying. We've got to kill every baby. Or I'm going to kill your family. Yeah. <laughs> so no. then it's like you either let him kill your family or you build a machine. I think that, that there's like, there's some artistic way to do it. You know, like all analog. Yeah. You don't have to like neural networks and drones. I think Kevin's actually the boss who's telling yeah. us. <laughs> you know, it's so uninspired. Yes, boss. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, boss. Yes, sir. I'm thinking like, let's get some trap doors. Yes, like, boss. Let's, keep, let's keep it old school. How is a baby going to fall through the trap door? They don't, they don't go anywhere. They're in strollers. They're in baskets. You, they don't walk. Ian, trap door. <laughs> editor, 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 editor. Oh, green screen. Oh, I just fell through a trap door. I feel what bad for the rest of you. How about a, a foam pit with one layer of foam in it? Yeah. <laughs> the foam blocks are held in place with spikes, though, so it's okay. You can get away with one layer because they won't move out of the way. Oh, holy shit. oh my god, what an oversight! <laughs> I could not believe they didn't put spikes in the pit. This is a classic henchman move. Anyways, our solution was drones. Mm -hmm. to, to kill every baby. Yeah, we Earth. watched that back and I was like, this could be an episode, but maybe like the hundredth episode. I don't think you can open a podcast with that kind of an episode. So it has to like ramp up. Yeah. Maybe for the hundredth podcast of Safety Third, we <laughs> give ourselves the same prompt and we have to come up with a machine. Mm. I say hundredth episode we have Michael back. Yeah. Can we write this down? And we do that same prompt, but because we've been doing this long enough and people sort of take for granted that we have brain damage and we can maybe get away with it. I have a garbage bag filled with uh, photorealistic silicone babies That's if perfect. we want to. That'll like, be like good visual aids. That'll yeah, help us sell to the audience yeah. what we're being told to do by our boss who yeah. Behind the scenes is us. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that that's supposed to be the twist for the last episode. Yeah. Yeah. Find out it's just us in different costumes yeah. up there. It's you with a hat. So the, yeah, it's us with a hat and a beard. It's <laughs> <laughs> like the shittiest costumes you could. The shittiest super villain costumes. <laughs> By the way, did you know that uh, the the higher end uh, photorealistic silicone babies that you can buy. They come with a perfume that smells like baby. Oh, God. What is wow. this? Is this like a... What do they sell them for? So, I mean, there's... I think there's a lot of weird reasons why you would want that. Uh, why did you look it what's up? What's your weird reason? Well, so I... <laughs> at, I was looking for I see a... I was turning. I don't <laughs> like yeah, it. Yeah, I was trying I was trying to remember exactly why. Um, it was for uh, a vaccine gun, and so uh, those were the, the babies yeah. were the targets. It's like, yeah, of course. And for some reason, yeah. I don't remember why, I just felt like I wanted them to be as realistic as possible. And what? so I ended up spending like hundreds of dollars on. Is it just, just like in a box? They're in a garbage bag. I keep them in a garbage bag. <laughs> that is terrifying. <laughs> Least uh, insane photorealistic baby enjoyer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because, like, like you know, some people, they they kind of treat them as if they're, like, real babies. Oh, and I you think, know what? I think I for think... some of them, it's, like, a therapeutic <laughs> thing, actually. Uh, like, if they lost a baby. But some of them are just fucking people have, weird. Like, I, I some of them are just fucking stuff weird. Stuff to, yeah. I think we stumbled across something like this looking for, um, like, life-size, like, child dolls. <laughs> we were looking for... <laughs> Um, well, so we haven't actually, this video is still <laughs> in, in process. We essentially wanted, needed a human analog. The problem is that the full size dolls are expensive. It's like, okay, what do we get a Why not a child? Kid? So it's like, yeah, like, you know, and I, it didn't need to be real or anything. The problem is when you start looking for like full size child dolls, you start uh, getting like the real ones. And 
then that was like a rabbit hole like looking at the reviews of like what are people uh, buying these for because I just gosh. wanted like you know like imagine like a really tall American girl doll kind of yeah not like a realistic do they come with perfume that make them smell like real children I I'm not sure I was able to read far enough into the description <laughs> I was just trying to find the cheapest one um, I, I'm, I like I don't know how they did it I don't know what is in the like the thing they spray on those things but I cannot describe it in any other way than when you open the box it smells open like a the baby trash bag you start laughing. <laughs> it sm- yeah it, it smells like a new they have a smell it Do smells they? like yeah have you ever smelled baby. a newborn baby uh, my brother. Okay. My brother, yeah. That's... And he, like, he has a smell. They all, the, a baby has a smell. Or did it's your like, brain just know what it was? Yeah, it's like just, it's like a, it's like huh. a, like a caveman monkey thing where it's like baby smells like baby. Okay, pick Who two smells across smell? two smells. <laughs> I don't, you... some, I mean, some perfume artists, because you... they can recreate any smell or whatever. I don't know. And so they just, they made a perfume they that smells exactly a like a Is it like, or like Pop-Tart cross with freshly mown lime? <laughs> What are we talking? <laughs> it's 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 like um it's it's kind of like it's vomit mixed with poop. No no no, no. it smells good. That's a poop mixed with more poop. <laughs> if, you're, if you were a caveman and yeah. you like you know delivered this thing that only cried and shat and made your life miserable and it didn't smell good, I think you'd abandon it, right? So no, it's like, like a one redeeming quality. The babies that smell good, they survive, good. and the babies oh, that didn't okay. smell good, they leave them in that, a ditch. Yes, <laughs> that that's fair. Makes a lot more sense. Than I think it has yeah. any right to <laughs> And so a newborn baby smell, it's almost like I don't, I don't want to say sweet because that feels weird to call it, it sweet. It feels like I'm about to put don't, it on like a no. rock and open flame. <laughs> and in the morning, I'm roasting a baby. But it's like it's 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 almost like um like <laughs> like a, a fleshy floral new car kind of smell. <laughs> that was way more than two. Yeah, I. <laughs> so baby smell like new flesh. cars and flowers. <laughs> like flesh and yeah, cars. Yeah, what? Like flesh. a Toyota. Like, We're like talking a, a Ford. Like a, like like, a fleshy like new car smell, but it's like it's Human. coming off of like a fresh steak or something. Mm. Like, and it's and it's also. I don't like I, comparing I babies to steak. I feel all I can think of, I mean, I'll let you smell it the next time. Actually, yeah, yeah, I'll pull you... out my garbage bag <laughs> for <some> babies <laughs> and I'll spritz them. Well, where my... are you supposed to keep them? They're not shaped normally. It's like they don't fit like a little, in a box. Like a little animal crate. <laughs> <laughs> They're shaped like, like little cat carriers. I, have, full of I have like five of them. The like, arms like sticking out, <laughs> out of the bag. Yeah, there's not. They don't really. They don't like. They're not like hexagonal. They don't fit optimally in a bin. You can't. Well, stack that's what them. that's what you, you close the door no. really hard. It's floppy because <laughs> yeah. they're floppy, mm. and so they keep them in garbage bag. And it still <laughs> smells like you know. It's it'll always probably smell like a new baby in there. <laughs> this is better than smelling like an old yeah. baby. <laughs> Good thing they're fake, I guess. <laughs> I did kind of wonder, like, oh, this I'm, baby's a little off. <laughs> like, it comes with the perfume already on it, but I'm pretty sure you can buy it separate. I do wonder, yeah, like, what the if you if you <laughs> like, there's a cursed idea that I really like of trying to do like like trying out pickup artist techniques, but like mm. poorly. So like, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. it's like making fun of the whole idea of that community by like trying to like using do, it wrong, kind exactly. Of, yeah. And so one of the things is like, you know, some people talk about like fucking pheromone perfumes. And yes. Like, what yeah. would happen oh. if you put on the newborn baby perfume yeah. to smell like a newborn baby? Would women give you more attention if you smelled <laughs> like a new baby? <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I think the answer is yes for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> I think that... There might be something there. You think girls and would I, talk to me more if I smell like a baby? I have a feeling that you're probably not the first person to explore the idea, but you would probably be the first person to publicly explore the you idea. Know, you think yeah. some pickup artist somewhere has actually tried spraying like if a Somebody has tried to sell a product like that, himself? which I remember, like, was it the, what? what magazine was in Popular Science? Yeah, oh yeah, at the back what? of every magazine. It was like oh, so the Pheromone like, it wasn't, Secret. It wasn't the Boy Scout magazine. And it, it, was like a, it was like oh, a girl. Oh, Pheromone. It was yeah. like a girl. It was like a, it was like a red ad and yeah. had like a little oh, vial. Yeah. Oh yeah, they I really saw knew their audience, I guess. Yeah, teenage boys. The Boy Scout magazine. Uh, yeah, I don't think I think it was Popular Science, but it could have been the Boy Scout mm-hmm. magazine. Picture, picture this: you're in Starbucks getting your morning coffee, and you get a whiff of 
Is that is that is that a diesel? New, is that a diesel? Brand new Toyota Corolla. Yeah, and you turn around and there she is. <laughs> flowers? My, and, my, oh, is that machine oil? Steak? You smell like a lathe, I girl. Mean, it was a fresh steak, like a freshly cut steak where it's like kind mm. of neutral, but mm. like a little bit of blood maybe. <laughs> this feels like a really good like torture test for the women in our lives where we can really just... Yeah, just no ethics board. No here. ethics board. <laughs> We really need to come up with an experiment we that I think we subject them to where they have to, like, pick. Which, <laughs> which one smells yeah. not the least? Yeah, like, which, like, like, hmm. It's like new baby, um, like some kind of animal urine. Like, then, like, like diesel. A, yeah, and diesel, yeah. And see, Whistle and diesel. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, do. <laughs> <laughs> if you're whistling, diesel. whistling diesel wins every time. He was a chill dude. We met him briefly at the. No, I, I like whistling diesel, and I think that yeah. I would, I wouldn't mind smelling like him. I don't know what he smells I don't know what he like, smells either. but if we could distill yeah. it into a bottle and I spray it on my, I would wear whistling diesel. I would, I, Why yeah, not? I would, I it's would like, definitely. Wait, try isn't it there? Yeah. Like, there's already a perfume mm-hmm. called Diesel. He could just easily cut, make yeah. whistling diesel. <laughs> I, I would do it if I was. Yeah. Him, I would say. <laughs> Whistling it's just it's literally just diesel. Yeah, it's just diesel. <laughs> it doesn't even say what it is. It's just a whistling diesel. On it. <laughs> and it comes, bottle. it comes yeah. in like it, no, it's like uh, it's just like one of the Home Depot like spray bottles. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Dude, that would totally like be a marketing thing for like yeah. like cologne for manly men. It comes in a fucking Home Depot spray That's bottle. That's the only way they'll wear it. Yeah. Yeah. That was like um dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, someone dun, someone dun, was dun. making fun of me the other day because I was traveling and so in my little like travel like toiletry bag um I have I have these wet wipes and I didn't I didn't buy it specifically cuz they were named these it just was it was there and it was what, like the dingleberry wipes. towels <laughs> they were called dude wipes oh yeah that's yeah that's a, yeah but this they're like they're just baby wipes yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just baby wipes with branding that makes yeah, you feel more manly for using a little toilet on your butt dude wipes if you're going to wipe your butt with a little rag it you smells can just like buy a bidet for Christ's sake <laughs> It smells like like if wolf howl. If wife wants to sponsor this podcast, we'll cut that bit out. <laughs> I'm sure it's good for traveling. I'm just saying, like, oh, okay, we're get, we're getting oh, we're getting a serious. Everybody's telling too, us to shut up. Yeah, wow. too much baby talk. I guess. <laughs> okay, I think I think my I no, think, more baby. Talk. I think my dog smells talk. good. You know, I don't have a baby, but I have a dog, and I just think it smells good. I think that you should not let her smell it. I think we need to do some sort of experiment. <laughs> You can't stop me. I will find the bag. <laughs> You'll sniff it out. I don't, I don't know the she most. She needs to know it smells like she can know when the experiment's happening. I don't know the most tasteful way to ask this. So, I mean, like, you know, your boyfriend does agree that you look like Tom Scott. It's a little sister. Tom Scott's a little sister. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was like, you know, that was an idea that kind of put forth. So, if we kind of like have this idea of like, like maybe you would like him better if he smelled like a newborn baby, maybe he'd agree with that also. I'm just saying that he seems like a very agreeable person. Mm. And then you can't avoid... If that's him doing it to himself, you can't get away from that. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm just throwing that out there. We're going to give him like five bottles of cologne and like some of them are going to be controls and some of them... (laughs) Can we put cameras in your apartment? (laughs) And you're going to go on like 12 dates and you have to rate each date on a scale of 1 to 10. (laughs) They're all the same. Zero, wow, I wonder zero. what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good date, but he smelled like diesel fuel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going bowling again. <laughs> like I had a fun time, but you smell like a baby. <laughs> actually a huge turn off <laughs> I'm not sure this is gonna work <laughs> Adam's in the corner of the camera oh no I feel like it'd work better for guys for women to wear perfume that smell Baby. like a, like a new car smell yeah. The problem like is, a, I don't think like guys would fire. care what the they girl wouldn't smells know. like. Yeah. I feel like they would. They would know subconsciously. I think you get a car guy. I, a car guy and get I smell smell like a new, woman yeah. that smells like that a new car smell. Instant. Like, like, that like would work. Fire in the distance. You can, oh, you smokeless can bias. <laughs> you can like subconsciously bias. 
Yeah. Where there's like some kind of weird kind of like comforting smell. Just whatever, whatever the other person likes. So if they like cars, it's new car smell. Mm. Because like, like, I bet you can buy a spray with new car smell in it. I'm sure you can. Yeah. And I can't. And Chelsea's just... like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I don't know. Hold still. <laughs> <laughs> This is like, ow, my eyes sting. <laughs> like, I'm really racking my brain right now trying to think how we do this baby smell experiment. I have a guess as to the outcome. I think it's just going to be yeah. that. I don't, think, I don't think any of those smells are going to be good smells for dates. I Why think not? that a subtle <laughs> amount can have a positive influence. Like, there's... I don't know how to describe it, but I'm pretty sure that if you can just have like, like, it's like not enough to recognize, but enough mm. to have like a slightly kind of like comforting or like kind of caring effect okay. where it's like, I don't know if that makes sense. Like, like you can't, it's not a cheat code. It's just a buff. <laughs> You're hacking their yeah. brain. It's like a, it's like a, uh, what's the, what's the Pokemon where you get like PP plus? <laughs> <laughs> you use like a spray or you use like a, uh, <laughs> I a tail whip. What are, what are the attacks or the things that like buff your? Yeah, I get like yeah, a potion. Oh, 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 oh like uh, how do I buff my like, pee pee? Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, I always smell faintly of pee pee. So I think that's <laughs> yeah, but you need to smell like buff pee pee. <laughs> like leer, leer. Yeah, 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 yeah. To like lower their pee pee. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, you actually think that if there was like a subtle, unnoticeable yes. newborn yes. baby smell yeah. that a woman would feel more yes. comfortable on a date yes. with that just like barely I, like subconsciously I, I feel very strong that this is worth an experiment. <laughs> you would you, you, would you release some, like, this information into courses. the world? I think so. As long as I can, you know, get a video Monetize and make it money somehow. on it, <laughs> then I don't care how people use it. <laughs> Thank you everybody on Patreon who pays money for this shitty podcast. <laughs> Wow, really just tell it how it is, huh? If you want to see more of this shitty podcast, <laughs> you can support us on Patreon. These are our shitty supporters. Oh, that's right, yeah. There's people now on Audrey, screen? can you grab yeah, one of them? Look, yeah, there, there's one right in front of you, Audrey. Grab, grab it. Yeah. No. no, put it near your foot. They like that. Uh, <laughs> put it in your shoe. Shove, shove that yeah. name in your shoe. Don't tease yeah. them. Just put, put it, it right on your put foot. Put it right in, your, in your shoe. Yeah, yeah there. Okay. Uh, yeah, now it's in. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're stuck in there until yep. next time you're on. 